And we're rocking and rolling, moving and shaking. Happy Sunday, everybody. This is another episode of Sunshine Consulting. Except today we're not talking about finance and we're not talking about economics. We're talking motivation, baby. Good friend Jesse asked, how do you stay motivated over the long term? And I love the question because it made me think, what were the differences between, you know, periods of time where I was very motivated and periods of time where I wasn't? And I, I would put all those things down to two things. And maybe a two and a half. And first one is goals. Second one is influences. So, so let's talk about goals, right? It's, it's super important to think about goals. In Stephen Covey's book, Seven, Seven Habits of a Highly Successful Person, um, he talks about you have to begin with the end in mind. So imagine you want to go somewhere, but you don't know where you're going. You don't know what direction to walk. And so with goals, with having goals and beginning with the end in mind, you start to get that direction. Well, when you talk about motivation, if you're wandering around aimlessly, it's a lot much harder to be uh, motivated. Whereas if you have three goals, 10 goals, 20,000 goals that you have, right, and you can pinpoint what you need to do to get there, it's a lot easier to accomplish those things. And with the small victories, I feel like also leads to more motivation. So first off, if you don't have any goals, think of some goals. Think about what you want to accomplish in your life and, and have them written down. Um, put them somewhere where you're going to see them every day. I feel like it's super easy when you wake up and you start your day. Um, a lot of times it's easy to forget. No, because you're worried about feeding your dog. You're worried about watering your plants. You're worried about making sure there's no stains on your shirt. Right? So put them somewhere where you're going to see them, be reminded of them every morning. Good place is the mirror. Right? Um, and this doesn't have to be your goals. Maybe even like in a motivational quote. My uh, roommate Cole, he has a really, really good quote I love. It's, um, I, can t I, I choose to do the things others, I choose to do the things others will not, so I can continue to do the things others cannot. And I, just, I, lo I love the quote, it, um, it's down, dirty, gets you moving, gets you fired up for the day. Um, so have goals, write them down, and uh, if you can, write them down every morning. Write down your, your goals every morning, purposely, intentionally, just take two minutes, write them down. Um, and even a bigger part, I think, is because this is even will influence what your goals are, right? Or is your influences? Um, who are your friends? I have, I have, I have this example that I always like to share. It's everybody's on a racetrack, right? Everybody's running laps around the track. Well, there are some people that are sitting on the bleachers because they have a hurt ankle, right? There's some people walking because they, for whatever reason, don't want to run. Some people probably crawling in this metaphor. Some people walking backwards. Some people wondering which way to go. And then you have people that like to run. You have the sprinters of the group. So now I'm going to ask you a question. Imagine you're in high school and all your friends are sitting down on the bench. Are you going to walk that track alone? No, probably not. Now imagine all your friends are walking. Are you going to be running? No, you're probably going to be walking right along with them. But now imagine all your friends, they're sprinting as fast as they can, lapping people on the track, smacking them on the ass, going, hey, I lapped you. I'm about to lap you again, mate. You know, and uh, where are you going to be? Oh, you're going to be running right with them. And now think about even better. Say you can't keep up with them. Are you even more motivated now? Abso absolutely. Absolutely you are. So I think the friend group you have um, really can influence how you're motivated. Like, uh, you know, talking about my, my roommate Cole again. See, this is what I'm saying. I have really good influences around me. He, he eats super healthy. He, um, he works out all the time. And that inspires me to do the same. Um, we always talk about nutrition, eating healthy, achieving goals, talking about what we want to do in life. And I feel like if you can surround yourself with people that are moving forward and that are runners, so to say, you know, you're, you're more apt to be motivated to be a runner. And then, so we have, we have goals and we have uh, influences around you. And I... To speak more about influences, I think it's also important to see what you're consuming on your phone. Um, be mindful about what you're watching and what you're doing in a sense of, you know, if you want to be successful, are you following successful people? Are you following unsuccessful people? Um, you know, who, who's your main influences? Who are your heroes, so to say? And, um, you know, I... I, I want to make the example, when you go to the gym and, and you're trying to, you know, let's say set a PR, 
you know, I like working out. So let's say you're trying to set a PR. Are you going to go and listen to Calm Smooth Jazz? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, you're going to listen to some EDM, something that's getting you fired up, some rock and roll, man, something, right? So this is the same thing in, in life. Are, are you listening to the music of life that is down? Oh, no, this is all, this is none of it's my fault. I'm not taking responsibility for anything. Oh, the world's cruel to me. Or are you listening to the music of the world that says, hey, take responsibility. Everything that happens in your life, you can control, you can make things happen, and you can do it. Um, and that's, that's uh, where I want to talk about influence, you know. And so I think staying motivated over the long term has a lot to do with who you're hanging around, who and what is influencing you, um, putting you know, thoughts in your mind, and also you know, being reminded of your goals every day. And just to add one more thing, I think something that that'll help a lot of people. Um, it's super easy to be lazy when your body has no energy. So are are you taking care of your body? You know, are, are you drinking every night? Are you drinking a bunch of soda? Are you eating junk food from McDonald's every day? You know, if you start eating healthy and you start working out, exercising, treating your body right, you'll be surprised how much energy you have. And it, you don't even have to be motivated. You just have so much energy. You need something to do. And even mental sharpness. I know since I, I, I've been working out in the morning, every morning at 6, my mental sharpness is there. You know, when it, when it comes to memorizing things or forgetting where I left something, I could remember, you know, two weeks ago where I put something, think about it, and it's right there. I've never been able to do that in my life. Um, so I think if you're, if you're exercising, eating healthy, that'll help um, with the energy levels within thinking about who's influencing you, what's influencing you, and making sure you're looking at your goals every day, man, you're going to be motivated today, tomorrow, next week. And I'm excited to see where your journey takes, and I hope you share it with me one day. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys all can manage to find some tips in this video and, and uh, you know, stay motivated, stay strong. Cheers.